Hey there guys, it's Nick, the ASMR nerd, and welcome back to another episode of Relaxing Reviews. Today I've got something really neat for you. It's another watch, and you might know I've reviewed a handful of watches here on the channel before. Last time I looked at a watch from a company called Tree Hut, and they specialize in making wrist watches out of natural materials like various kinds of woods, uh, stone, including marble, uh, leather as well. And the watch I'm looking at today actually incorporates all three of those materials. Today we're looking at the Horizon White Marble Ebony black wristwatch from Tree Hut, and that name is a bit of a mouthful, but it is perfectly descriptive for what we're looking at here. This watch has a white marble face made from genuine and sustainably sourced marble. It has a ebony body, sort of a dark brown ebony case, also sustainably sourced, and it has a genuine leather wrist strap in black. Uh, so we're going to be taking a look at that here today. The last Tree Hut watch I reviewed was one of their uh, sort of entry-level models. It was more affordable. comes in at $95. This one is a little bit more expensive. $145 US dollars is the cost for this particular model. Uh, of course, Tree Hut was kind enough to send over a review sample for us to look at here today. And I'd really quickly like to shout out Dianara, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Uh, she's the Tree Hut representative that I've been dealing with for these reviews. She's been helping me organize them, and she has been infinitely patient <laughs> with all my questions that I've had about, um, for instance, the sourcing of the materials um, for these watches. And she's just been very helpful and very patient with me. I like to make sure I do my research thoroughly before I come to you guys and review a product. So thank you, Dianara, for helping me uh, get all that information straight. Really appreciate it. Also, shout out to Joe, who is one of the co-founders of Tree Hut. And after my last review, he got back to me, actually. And we had a little back and forth about some of the things that I appreciated about their watch and some of the places where I thought there was maybe a bit of room for improvement. And he was really open to hearing my suggestions and very positive about some of the things I had to say. And that, in my experience as a reviewer, <laughs> is really uncommon. It's very rare that you end up in contact with somebody at a you know business or company who can actually m make changes of any kind and uh, who is genuinely interested and excited to hear what you have to say about their product. So uh, honestly, that made me feel even better about agreeing to do another one of these reviews of a Tree Hut watch because they seem like uh, a good good people, honestly. That was the impression that I got. Very genuine. So, uh, anyway, today we're taking a look at this uh, Horizon White Marble uh, Ebony Black watch. If you like what you see as we're reviewing it, there's a link down below this video and also at the top of the comments where you can check it out. And if you purchase a Tree Hunt watch through that link, it doesn't have to be this one, any Tree Hunt watch, a portion of your purchase comes back to support the channel, which is something that I like to be very transparent about, for starters, and that I also like to thank you guys for, because I really do appreciate that support if you choose to do that. All right. That's a lot of talking. Now it's time to get unboxing. Let's take a closer look at this watch. And here we have the Tree Hut White Marble Ebony Black Wristwatch in box. And if you watched my previous Tree Hut watch review, you will recognize this box immediately because it is, in fact, the same box. <laughs> um, 
The tree hut has this sort of minimalist design that it uses, where it's got this outer sleeve with nothing on it, just white cardboard, except for the tree hut logo, which is engraved with this sort of shiny lettering. Very clean looking. Nothing on any of the other sides of that cardboard sleeve. That cardboard sleeve then slips off to reveal the box itself, which actually uses this same sleeve system. So it's got this sort of textured outer uh, sleeve portion that also has nothing on it except again that shiny tree hut logo and I really like the material that they make this out of it's almost like fabric I think it's cardboard but it's almost like fabric it's got this kind of woven texture to it see on my wrist there. This is the tree hut watch from last time. The all ebony um, classic, I think, is what this model was called. Um, so within there we have this interior box and the interior box slides out to reveal the watch and this is the one with all the fun kind of doodles on it and these are all kind of adventure themed that's sort of tree huts thing it's kind of aimed at people who like to to travel perhaps who like to see the world at least all their marketing copy on their website <laughs> seems to be kind of oriented towards that kind of demographic, but it's kind of fun. This outer cover is nice and thick, and it's got this inner layer that is a softer textured material. I think this is fabric. looks kind of like a faux leather, but it feels a bit more like, mm, I don't know, felt or something. It's soft, anyway. And as we pull that outer sleeve off, we see our watch. Looking very lovely in there, isn't it? The Horizon White Marble Ebony Black. packaging um, and it does appear that they use exactly the same packaging for their their um, you know more expensive models as well as this slightly more expensive model so here's our watch and it's looking quite lovely isn't it um, the marble the white marble is of course the most striking feature it's framed by that sort of deep brown ebony wood. And then the strap is black. Black leather. You can get straps in other colors. They offer a dark brown and a, a light brown, and I believe a what they call a vegan gray strap, which is a non non-leather or a synthetic leather alternative. So let's 
pull this out. It sits neatly on a cushion, same as our previous watch. And that cushion has the same texture, it's the same material as the inside of this box and the inside of this box. But I notice, interestingly, let's just put that to the side for one moment. I notice that there's actually something in here that wasn't in uh, the previous watch box. Uh, there's some some kind of oh, silica gel. Nothing else in that box. Some kind of literature. Um, and it's in this kind of sparkly, shiny paper. It almost looks like wallpaper. It reminds me of wallpaper material that my grandparents used to have, but it's actually kind of reminiscent of a tree bark as well. And once again, there's really nothing on the outside of this little packet except for that tree hut logo. I really do appreciate Tree Hut's uh, commitment to minimalist aesthetics. That seems to be a common theme throughout their packaging and their product lines, and that is something that I personally um, really like. I think it looks very nice. Okay, inside, I've got a little folio situation. And tucked in here we have a couple of items, it looks like. What do you suppose this one is? Let's see. Nature-inspired wood and marble watches. California, USA. So Tree Hut is located in San Francisco. It says here, on a mission to bring nature, love, and balance since 2014. Okay, so this is their product catalog. Oh no, this is... Oh, it's a bit of both. Interesting. It's a product catalog but it also has information about how to set your watch and information about the care of your watch. But it also sort of advertises like engraving, groomsmen's gifts, corporate gifts. I suppose you could gift watches for all of these purposes. There are various designs care here. This is probably worth reading because, like I said, the last watch I got from these guys didn't actually include this information. It says here, tree hut watches are perfectly suitable for everyday use. Just try not to leave your watch in direct sunlight for an extended period of time. The heat may cause the wood to potentially crack. Unfortunately, they are not water resistant, so please do not submerge your watch in water but they are splash and beach proof. So, you can uh, take them to the beach, but don't wear them into the water. It says to replace your battery, visit a watch repair place. They strongly recommend this to be done by a professional. <laughs> I reckon you could do it yourself pretty easily if you wanted, but their recommendation is to visit a professional. Here we go, warranty information up front. This is what I'd like to see. All Tree Hut watches come with two year warranty automatically with your purchase. That's good. Uh, I didn't actually realize it was two. For some reason I thought it was one, so that's great. And then some more kind of marketing stuff. 
cute little booklet, pretty pictures of watches, a little bit of useful info in there. Okay, so if that's that, then what is this? This is kind of a bigger folder. Okay. Oh, all right. It is a certificate of authenticity. Again, uh, my previous watch, this one right here, did not come with such a certificate. So that's interesting. I guess they saved this for their slightly more expensive models. Um, by the way, I can attest to the fact that these watches are suitable for everyday wear. Uh, like I said, over in the product manual there, I have worn this watch pretty much every day. Uh, since the review, and it wears very well, uh, and as you can see, this is a little aside, but there's really no visible wear or damage, no scuffs or anything. Uh, ebony is a, a nice, hard, dense wood, so it's pretty resistant to damage. Uh, it says here, in terms of a certificate of authenticity, this product is an original creation of Tree Hut, created and checked according to our internal rigorous quality tests. And then you can write down your date of purchase and model ID, hand touched. I don't even know what that means. I don't know if this is supposed to be filled out by Tree Hut, and they did not, simply because this is a, a review sample. Uh, perhaps if you were to purchase this watch for yourself, this would be filled out for you. It kind of looks like it's supposed to be. Anyway, it's kind of a nice little add-in, although it's not, um, doesn't really change the, uh, the value proposition or anything, but it's, it's a little extra, I suppose. Okay. Time for the main event. So, as I said earlier, the first and most striking feature of this watch is, of course, that white marble face. And I'm not going to lie, when Treehut first reached out to me about potentially doing a, a review with them, uh, and I, I checked out their website to see what their products were like, the marble watch faces were what initially drew me in. Um, I, I just like marble as a material. Um, it's very classic. It makes me think of sort of Greco-Roman, you know, stateliness. Um, very, very classic. Um, and I've always loved the patterning in marble. And of course, uh, the great advantage of using natural materials like marble, like wood, uh, and to a lesser extent like leather in a watch is that each piece becomes unique. And so you can see there's some veining in this marble, natural patterns in the stone, um, that is unique to this particular watch. No one else is going to have a watch that looks quite like this. It's the artistry of nature, if you will. And that really appeals to me personally. Not everyone's going to feel that way. Some people prefer the precision of something that is machined and that is, you know, always the same in every model. But I really like the variability of natural materials. And I'm taking a look at this watch face, and it is a really nice looking piece of stone. Oops. Let me just get it nice and close to the camera there, right as close as I can before it loses focus so that you can appreciate. It's very clearly a polished, smoothly polished piece of stone, and the particular piece that has been used in this watch, yeah, I really like 
the natural patterning on it. I've seen some others, um, you know, featured on their website in their product photos that they look quite a bit different than this, actually. So that's, that is one potential drawback, is that you're never quite sure what you're going to get. But uh, I really do like the way this one looks. And the nice thing about this is that you've got that kind of gray marbling on the very clean white background, but the uh, solid black hands and um, sort of tick marks around the face there in the cardinal directions uh, stand out very nicely against that face. So the readability is really good, despite having sort of this natural variability, this uh, patterning in the marble. Now you can see that this particular model is designed not with just the marble face and the wood case, but there's a, a thin band of steel around that face. And I believe this is actually what gives this model its name, the Horizon. Again, <laughs> according to the marketing copy on their website, the inspiration was the way the Earth looks from space the round face being like our blue marble, our planet, and the steel band around it being like the horizon, the atmosphere around the planet when viewed from space. That's pretty cool inspiration. And if you look really closely, let's get right up in here. Perhaps you can see, there you are, that that band, that steel, polished steel band, has numbers on it. Now they are very small numbers. <laughs> they are maybe less functional than they are aesthetic. You kind of have to squint to see them if you're just looking at it on your wrist, I would imagine. But they are there nonetheless, so if you get confused about where <laughs> the numbers on your watch face are, you can consult the steel band there. But the face itself, of course, is perfectly clean except for four tick marks uh, at each of the uh, cardinal directions there. And the 12 o'clock position is the Tree Hut logo. So again, they've integrated their branding in a very subtle and um, refined kind of way that I really appreciate. It's not gaudy or in your face at all. The hands, there are three of them. They are solid black. We've got an hour, a minute, and a second. This is, of course, a, uh, a battery-powered model, an automatic, um, or excuse me, a, you know, electrical model. A quartz-powered model is what I'm looking for here. And so, um, that second hand won't sweep smoothly, it will tick along. It's one of the limitations of these battery-powered quartz models, but the movement in here is uh, once again provided by Miota, which um, is a nice high-quality quartz movement, so I suspect it will keep time very well indeed. While we're staring at it here, let's take a look at the crown. A little crown on the side here. It's got, again, very subtly, the Tree Hut logo engraved on it. And that will be for setting the time, not for winding, of course, because you don't need to wind a battery-powered watch. It's got a little piece of plastic on there right now, presumably to keep it from running down and wasting the battery while it's in transit. So let's pop that out like so. And then I think I read in the manual, you just have to push this in. That should start it. And indeed it does. And there it goes. And you know, I just noticed that the opposite end of that second hand, little counter end, is in fact 
another little tree hut logo. That's kind of cute. So there it goes, ticking away. Uh, the face of this watch, uh, excuse me, the glass, the watch glass, I don't think it's anything special. They don't call it out on the website as being sapphire crystal or anything. So like our um, more inexpensive model here, I'm willing to bet that it's just a glass face, which should of course get the job done if you're careful with it. It'll wipe clean and all that, but it's not as hard as, for example, sapphire crystal. So do be aware that if you took something especially hard to it, it could scratch. Now let's talk about the case of the watch, because this case is lovely. It is solid ebony wood in this nice, deep, rich brown color. And it gives this whole watch a very classic look, in my opinion, between the white face and then that nice, rich brown of the case. Um, and then that classic look is somewhat modernized by that steel band around the face. But I think it looks really nice. Let's, um, well, sure, we'll look at the strap while we're around this side. The strap is black stitched leather, uh, genuine leather, which is, as I understand it, actually a grade of leather. It's sort of a mid-tier grade of leather, but it does mean it's real leather. Um, but there are, there are, uh, less fine grades of leather and more fine grades of leather, but I'm sure it'll get the job done. You can see it's got a bunch of holes for various sizing here, and a pair of loops for securing the strap. The, uh, latch part of the strap here, I don't know what you call this, but, uh, a nice little detail also has the tree hut branding on it, and it looks like a brushed steel. That material looks like a brushed steel. Really nice attention to detail. I really appreciate what they've thought about every little piece of this watch. So it's this soft kind of suede on the inside, and then uh, this sort of smoother finish on the outside. It's not shiny, it's still matte, but um, but let's go return to the case here. So it's got this round surround here and then the uh, I don't know what you call these parts <laughs> that hold hold the uh, band on here, strap on onto the, uh, the case are, uh, are wood as well. Now I will say, first impressions are that it looks really, really sharp, and that, oh, that marble face looks so good, but it's a little bit smaller than I expected. Um, I don't know why I thought that, and they give the dimensions on the website, but it just... It seems a little smaller than I had expected. Let's compare it. I think, I think it might even be smaller than uh, the All Ebony Classic here. And it is, a little bit, you know, side by side, ever so slightly, a few millimeters smaller. In terms of depth, right, they're almost identical. So I'll be interested to put this on my wrist and see how it feels because I have pretty small, slim wrists, <laughs> uh, as you can see. And so even something like this is verging on the edge of bigness for me. Um, and larger watches are right out, basically. So uh, we'll try this on in just a second, but there's one more thing I want to show you, 
and that is right here on the back. Once again, this watch has been engraved. The engraving is an additional cost, additional fee. I believe it's 30 US dollars, I think. I would have to go double check that. But you can uh, check on their website. I think it's 30 US. Um, but you can see, actually, I'm a little surprised that the back is, is steel. I thought it would be wood all the way around, which is the case uh, on this other watch. But uh, no, this model actually has a steel back plate, and that steel has been engraved. Uh, and that looks really nice. It's got this brushed metal all the way around, brushed steel in this sort of concentric circle pattern. And then it's just held in place by four tiny little screws. And then the metal itself has been engraved with the channel name. So that's pretty neat looking. All right, let's put this on. I think it's time. Um, in terms of weight, they're pretty similar. It has a nice weightiness to it that gives it a feeling of solidity. Uh, it feels quite dense, but it's also not a big watch, so it doesn't feel super heavy. All right, uh, how are we going to put this on? I'm going to have to slip this through here and slide it onto my wrist, I think. That works. And then, would you look at this? So, I told you I have uh, pretty skinny wrists. I think we're going to put it on the started on the third to smallest notch there and then this strap just kind of fits in here like so through one loop and this other loop if you can see actually slides so we can put that through there and then slide the loop down so that it holds it tight all the way to the end there like so. But yeah, I'm on the third tightest hole, and even that's a little bit loose, actually. There's a bit more movement on my wrist than I would like. Let's try tightening it down one more. The leather feels nice and supple. It doesn't feel like it's going to uh, uh, crack or anything. It's pretty soft, but um, it also feels pretty sturdy have to get used to this. I don't actually have any other watches with leather straps, so it's just a matter of figuring out this process. There we go. So, seated happily, it looks about like that on the wrist. And then, I'll just put it in the same hole again. <laughs> Come on. Maybe, maybe the second tightest is a little too tight. There just feels a bit loose. Okay, that's definitely on the second tightest now. And I think this uh, leather will break in a little bit over time too. It is a little on the stiff side right now, but I'm sure with a bit of wear, it'll soften up. Okay, and there we have it, my friends. Now that, I must say, fits my wrist really well. That's a really comfortably sized watch on my wrist. Um, whereas some other watches uh, that I've worn in past have definitely verged on the large side. This is really appropriate for a slimmer wrist. Um, and I think this would look good on, on anyone. Um, and for that reason, I recommend it as a, as a unisex watch. I really do think that this would look nice on pretty much any wrist. Although if you do have a larger, thicker wrist, it might look a tad on the small side. Again, in comparison, it is a bit smaller, but I think it looks really refined and classic. And again, on my slimmer wrist, I think it really works. It's very comfortable. The strap is very comfortable. It's not, uh, chafing or pulling or anything like that and uh, and it sits really nicely even on that second to smallest 
hole there, there's a little bit of a little bit of leeway, which is what you want. You don't want it to be on so tight that it's digging into your flesh and uh, cutting off circulation or anything like that. So there we have it. Now I'm going to wear this around for the next while. I'm going to uh, put it through its paces. I'm going to have to set it here. It's actually not too far off, honestly. Um, so I will uh, test it out in day-to-day -day use. We'll see how it handles getting a bit of rain on it because the weather is very rainy around here right now. Uh, falls here. And uh, I will be, uh, you know, seeing how the comfort is over the course of the day, whether the strap gets sweaty, um, things like that, how the weight and size feel on the wrist with extended wear. Of course, I will be assessing the accuracy of the movement, the reliability of that movement, and I will be seeing what people think of this watch. Because as I've said before, no one really needs a wristwatch, or very few people need a wristwatch. There are some professions, as you guys have pointed out in the comments, where it's a boon, but uh, most people don't need one. So it's, it's really kind of like a piece of jewelry for many folks. So it's got to look good, right? So I'll be assessing that too. Then we'll get back together here. I'll share my experiences before running down the pros and the cons and giving you my final verdict on Tree Hut's Horizon White Marble Ebony Black Wristwatch. All right, so I've had the opportunity now to wear this watch for about a month, pretty much every day, and I formed some opinions about it. So it's time to talk about the pros and the cons. And as usual, I like to start positive. So let's start with the pros. The first thing that I really appreciate about this watch, and actually the previous Tree Hut watch that I reviewed too, is the commitment to sustainable sourcing of materials. This is something that I called out in my last Tree Hut watch review, and I think it's just as relevant here. Uh, it just makes me, as a reviewer, and as a potential consumer or purchaser, um, feel better about interacting with the company when I know that they are doing things in an ethical and an environmentally and socially conscious way. So for me, that's a big plus. Second thing that I really like about this watch is its beautiful, clean aesthetic. This is a minimalistic design, much like the one that I reviewed previously as well. And many of Tree Hut's watches do lean towards the more minimalistic designs. Not all of them, but many. Um, but personally, it's an aesthetic that I really appreciate uh, and that I think looks really fantastic because it highlights the natural textures and the uniqueness of the natural materials that are being used doesn't obscure them with all kinds of clutter or anything like that. And that feeds directly into my next point, which is that gorgeous marble face that is without a doubt the aesthetic highlight of this watch, and is what drew my eye to it in the first place when I was considering what kind of watch to review next. Uh, honestly, it is very striking, that white marble. It is a very high quality marble. Um, it looks lovely both from a distance and up close, and it's the aspect of this watch that got the most compliments. I think it's what makes it the most unique. Another thing that I really appreciated about this watch is that it was very light and comfortable, and I've said it before in wristwatch reviews, but I have a very narrow wrist, so larger wristwatches tend to look slightly comically oversized on me. I found this wristwatch to be just about the perfect size for my wrists, which means it might be a little on the small side for some people with sort of larger, wider wrists, um, but for people with sort of medium to narrow size wrists, uh, I think that it's just about the right size. 
it was very, very comfortable to wear in combination with that supple but soft leather uh, wristband, which allowed me to get really good fitting because it just has, you know, a bunch of little holes in it. So I was able to get it at exactly uh, the right size for my wrist. And it didn't slide around at all, but it also didn't constrict my wrist too much. And honestly, a lot of the time I forgot I was wearing it, um, which is, I think, the mark of a very comfortable wristwatch. Overall, more comfortable than the all-wood models that I've reviewed previously. And I think that largely did come down to the small size and that very comfortable leather strap. And finally, the watch looks good. It feels good. Does it perform well? Is it functional? Yeah, it totally is. I set this watch once when I got it about a month ago. I have not had to set it or adjust it since. It is still keeping pretty much perfect time. If it has lost or gained any time, it's been pretty much indiscernible. So the uh, Japanese quartz movement inside this watch doing an excellent job of keeping it right on time. I do have a couple of cons to mention here, but this is going to be a very short list indeed. The first thing that I'd like to say is that there are still few pack-ins with this watch. Um, there are more than I had with the previous model I reviewed, and that this time we had that certificate of authenticity, which looked really nice and was nicely presented, um, for whatever it's worth. And there was a usage and care manual, critically, uh, that came with this watch, which was really good to see. That said, I think there are still opportunities to improve the pack-ins uh, with these watches. It would be nice to see um, a polishing cloth, you know, for keeping the face clean. It would be nice to see some kind of um, oil for treating the wood, because uh, wooden watches do take a little bit more care than uh, your standard metal watch, because the wood can be sensitive to changes in temperature and humidity and these sorts of things. So it would be nice to see some of that packed in with the watch as well. It would help add to the feeling of a really premium package. And then the second and indeed final item that I want to put on this cons list is, in fact, a very minor nitpick. It's so minor that I almost didn't want to mention it here, but I'm going to anyway because I need more than one item on my cons list. Uh, and that's that I wish this watch was offered with a wooden band option. Um, it's only available with a leather band, and while I really did like the leather band, it was very, very comfortable. It just didn't feel quite as premium or unique as the wooden bands that I've had on other watches that I reviewed. I think it's just maybe personal preference even. I just like to be able to show off the uniqueness of the wood, the ebony in this case, because it looks lovely and it's something that's very uh, special about these watches. And so I did find that leather wrist strap, like I said, very comfortable, very functional. I was able to get the fit just right. But I think I would probably be willing to even pay a little bit more money to get this model of watch with a wooden band, not just the leather one. Heck, you could get two and you could swap them out, you know, make them interchangeable or something like that, depending on your mood. It would just be nice to have the option, that's all. So what, then, is my final verdict on Tree Hut's Horizon White Marble Ebony Black wristwatch? Well, let me tell you, sometimes it's actually more challenging to review a highly competent product than it is to review a flawed product. And that's because I always want to offer you guys a very fair and balanced perspective on a product. and. When I don't really have any criticisms of a product, it somehow feels like it comes across as insincere or something like that. So uh, it turns out that this watch is one such highly competent product. I really don't have much negative to say about it at all. You've heard it all already. Uh, I love the way it looks. I think it looks super duper classy. 
I love the way it wears. I think it is incredibly comfortable. And I like the way it functions. It's kept pretty much perfect time. And that face is perfectly readable. It looks really nice and it works really well. So what am I to say? My biggest criticism, honestly, is that I wish it was available with a wooden band option as well as the leather one. And when that's my biggest criticism, <laughs> I think it's fair to say that this is a really solid product. It looks great, it's well made, and I think $145 is a very fair price for it. So if you're in the market for a wristwatch and you like the look of this one, it comes highly recommended. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of another relaxing review. Special thanks, of course, to Tree Hunt for sending over the review product that we looked at here today. And big shout out once again to Dianara for all her help, and to Joe for listening to my feedback after the last Tree Hunt Watch review. Really do appreciate that. And if you would like to check out this watch, maybe purchase it for yourself, there is a link down below the video and at the top of the comments where you can do just that. And I would like to once again remind you that if you do purchase this watch or indeed any Tree Hut watch through that link, a portion of your purchase comes back to support the channel. And I like to remind you that because uh, I think it's important for transparency purposes and also uh, to say thank you if you choose to do so. I really do appreciate that. And of course, a big, big thank you to each and every one of you guys for watching today. I hope you found this video informative. I hope you found it relaxing. And I look very forward to having you all back here next time for another episode of relaxing reviews. Bye for now, guys.